Hello everyone, welcome to a new uh, murder video. I've not done one for a while. Um, obviously it's getting slightly into old now, but the Karelian conflict. Let's bring up the image. Yeah, so a new campaign expansion for Armada has been announced by FFG. So I'm really excited about this. I know I'm not the only one. There's been quite a few people in my local group who said, oh my God, it's gonna make me start wanting to play Armada. So it's really good news for a scene. It's going to help push it on that little bit. And it looks like it is, as the box says, a full-on <coughs> full campaign guide. Uh, that map looks awesome. It reminds me of the um, Star Wars Rebellion board. Not quite as uh, humongous, obviously. It's only the Corellian sector from the look of it. But it looks like we get a fully fleshed out system for playing an Armada campaign. And obviously the extra cards for um, Rebels and Imperials down here. I can't quite make out what they are. I've not zoomed in too much just yet. I'll try and do a bit more research online so I can get more information for you. But one of the main excitements for the tournament players is that they're going to be introducing new objectives as well. So I'll just quickly cover them. I've not had a chance to think too deeply on these objectives just yet. Um, so it'll all be initial impressions. I'm not going to go through what lists I'd try and put them in too deeply just yet. But that will come. So the first one we'll do is yellow, the jamming barrier. So in setup, you get to place obstacles as normal, excluding the station, and replace the two debris fields with two dust fields, which must come in this box. After deploying fleets, the second player places two objective tokens in the setup area at distance one to five of each other. When attacking, if a line of sight travels across the line between the two objective tokens, the attacker must choose and remove half of the dice from the attack pool rounded down before rolling. So that's the full length of the range really, you get to place two objectives. And then any shots by either player that cross that line um, are substantially reduced. So it's quite interesting. I think you can get um, a good positional play. Like you can put them along to stop a rebel swirl, for example, um, cutting down that, that amount of fire, make people have to come through that barrier and engage on your terms. So that's a really interesting one. Should be pretty exciting. Um, then the blue objective we've spoiled is salvage run. So for this one, the second player places the station in the centre of the play area. Then starting with the second player, the players alternate placing the remaining obstacles, adding the two dust field obstacles at distance 1 to 5 of the station. After placing, objecti uh, after placing obstacles, sorry, the second player places a total of four objective tokens in the setup area. Each token must be at distance one of the station and beyond distance one of all other tokens. After deploying fleets, each of the second player ships gains a navigate token. Then you basically claim your objectives in the same way we've seen. You reveal your command dial and you can claim one within distance one. So this is an interesting blue objective. I feel like it helps some of the um, slower fleets it can force of engagement to be around that central point. So a bit like contested outposts in that regard, it brings a fight to a specific location and lets you plan around it. So if you like contested outpost, salvage run is probably going to be pretty similar to that. Then station assault. For setup, place obstacles as normal, excluding the station. Then the second player places two stations in the setup area. Each station must be placed beyond distance one of all obstacles and beyond distance three of both players' edges. Both stations are unarmed stations. Place both unarmed station cards near the second player's ship cards. So this implies that we're going to have statistics, obviously. Um, you get to attack and defend them. So the first player's ships and squadrons cannot resolve an unarmed station effect to discard damage cards or recover hull points when they overlap it. So the first player is the attacker here. The second player can still recover um, damage and stuff as normal. 
The second player gains one victory token for each unarmed station that is not destroyed. The first player gains one victory token for each unarmed station that is destroyed. So this one's a good objective for splitting things out. You can have them quite wide on the board, take advantage of that um, six foot playing field. Um, larger, slower, ponderous ships it's going to become a wash so you could sacrifice one station defend the other try and play for position stuff like that all in all it's relatively interesting hopefully there's a full whack of new objectives as well and really add some variety to the game then the ones i found even more interesting just because i get to say rogue squadron yay some x-wing squadron fixes in my mind anyway so, with the introduction of the rogue ability in the, um, I forgot what the pack's called now, the one that's got Han and stuff in it, you know what I mean, um, it kind of hindered the normal squadrons in an anti-fighter way, because you've got to still use your orders to use them in uh, anti-fighters, but now, with them having rogue, your X-Wings can swoop in regardless of what else you have on the table so I feel like these are going to be a really good counter to a Rhymer Ball per se not necessarily a, a hard counter but it's going to let you put your ship points into your ships to do what they want to do and your X-Wings can just go along and keep trying to do their thing without you having to worry about pushing them with any orders then the Black Squadron TIE Fighters um, I really, really like these guys. I would have liked something extra to make them override, for example, Vader's rule, some just specific rule that you can't attack a named character even if they've got Escort, or the fact that Vader should probably lose Escort from his card anyway. But TIE Fighters with Escort now, this buffs the Rhymer Ball, as it were, um, just that cheap filler to stay in the list and keep pumping out damage. Counter 1 as well is really strong. Um, these sat around with a uh, Dengar for Counter 2. Uh, a really cheap points level can be a good, effective anti-squadron. You might not get the jump on people in the same way you will with the Rogue Squadron. But there we go. And the last card that we spoiled is revealing where this awesome scene array uh, came from. It knew it was in Armada, but people were talking about whether she was going to be an Admiral card, stuff like that. But the interceptor behind her did lead us towards it being a squadron card. So it's nice to just actually finally have the answers. So 17 points. While you are defending, the attack is treated as obstructed. Really, really helps her against the uh, anti-ship fire. Uh, not so much if you've got an IG coming in throwing a trillion dice at you but you know it's still got the scatter so fingers crossed um, I don't think she's going to be as impactful as Rogue and Black Squadron but still a nice card I like the art and um, yeah, 17 points is reasonable so we'll see hopefully she'll do okay um, Again, pretty brief video. I missed the boat with the computer being down, but it's also worth bringing up that um, Wave 3 and Wave 4 are shipping now, guys. So Armada is about to get a lot more interesting. I, for one, can't wait to get some Fatilas on the table, see how they work, and then the Karelian Conflict is only going to make this game even better. Thanks for watching. If you... Um, have any comments or anything please just throw them on i'd love reading the comments and feedback and try and get a bit of a back and forth start building it into a little bit of a community um speaking of community i do now have a discord channel for dice hate so we've got a little bit of a place to have a chat outside of this i've got it on my phone so i check it a few times a day so if you want to hit me up on that feel free i'll put a link in the description box below um, thanks for watching everyone and see you soon